Imagine, if you will, a starlit night in the year AD 79. The city of Pompeii is alive with activity, oblivious to the impending doom. Nestled in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, this thriving Roman city is a bustling hub of commerce, culture and everyday life. The air is thick with the aroma of roasting meats and fresh bread as families gather around tables for their evening meals. Laughter echoes through the stone-paved streets, mixing with the rhythmic clatter of artisans at work, shaping pottery and weaving intricate designs into cloth. The city's forum, a vibrant marketplace, is a hive of activity, even as the day draws to a close, with traders haggling over prices and shoppers inspecting goods. Down by the docks, the city's fishermen are hauling in their final catch of the day, their nets heavy with fish gleaming silver in the moonlight. Meanwhile, in the grand villas of Pompeii's elite, lavish parties are in full swing. Guests recline on plush lounges, sipping wine from ornate goblets, their conversation punctuated by the soft strains of lyre music. In the vineyards on the city's outskirts, workers are pressing grapes under the cool night sky, their songs of harvest floating on the breeze. The city's amphitheatre, a hub of entertainment, echoes with the roars and cheers of spectators engrossed in a thrilling gladiatorial contest. Yet amidst this picture of bustling life and normalcy, the earth beneath their feet holds a deadly secret. The very mountain that has stood sentinel over the city for centuries is a ticking time bomb, its deadly power held in check only by a thin crust of rock and earth. As the night wears on, a slight tremor ripples through the city, it's barely perceptible, a mere shiver in the fabric of the night. But it's a harbinger of the unspeakable horror that's about to befall this thriving metropolis. But as the night wore on, the ground beneath Pompeii began to tremble, a premonition of the catastrophe that was to unfold. Under the moonlit sky, Mount Vesuvius, a seemingly benign giant, awakened with a thunderous roar. The tranquility of the night was shattered as the ground beneath trembled, an ominous prelude to the catastrophic event that was about to unfold. The once dormant volcano sprung to life in a devastating spectacle. As if angry at the world below, the earth shook violently, a testament to the seismic activities brewing beneath the surface. These tremors, however, were merely the overture to a deadly performance that was about to take centre stage. As the people of Pompeii felt the earth move beneath their feet, Confusion and fear gripped their hearts. The city, which was once a bustling hub of life, was now on the brink of chaos. The initial reaction was of disbelief, a desperate hope that the tremors would cease and life would return to normal. But the worst was yet to come. Without warning, the top of Mount Vesuvius exploded, sending a plume of smoke and ash miles into the sky. The spectacle was both mesmerizing and terrifying, a rain of pumice and ash followed, blanketing the city in a grim, grey coat. The day turned to night, as the sun was blotted out by the thick cloud of volcanic debris. The inhabitants of Pompeii ran for their lives, their faces etched with terror. The streets that were once filled with the chatter of everyday life were now filled with cries of despair. The city's vibrant mosaic was slowly being replaced by a monochromatic canvas of grey, as the relentless shower of pumice and ash continued, buildings crumbled under the weight, streets were buried, and the city was plunged into an eerie silence. The panic and chaos that had reigned mere moments ago were replaced by a deafening silence, an unsettling calm that fell over Pompeii. By the time dawn broke, Pompeii was unrecognisable. A city once thriving was now silenced under a thick layer of volcanic debris. The wrath of Mount Vesuvius had forever changed the landscape, leaving behind a chilling reminder of the impermanence of human life. In the aftermath of this cataclysm, Pompeii lay hidden, frozen in time, waiting to reveal its tragic tale. Buried beneath a shroud of volcanic ash and pumice, the city slept undisturbed for over 1,500 years. It was only in the mid-18th century that the remains of Pompeii were discovered, a chance encounter during the construction of a palace for the King of Naples. The excavation of Pompeii was a doorway into the past, a snapshot of life in Roman times, preserved with an eeriness and authenticity rarely seen. Buildings stood intact with frescoes still vibrant on the walls. Artifacts of daily life, from pottery to jewellery, remained untouched. Most haunting of all were the plaster casts of those who perished, 
their final moments captured in a macabre tableau of despair and disbelief. Yet, from this tragedy, there was much to learn. Pompeii provided an unprecedented insight into Roman society, from the grandeur of its public buildings to the minutiae of everyday life. It shed light on the diet, fashion and even the graffiti of the time, painting a vivid picture of this ancient civilization. The disaster also advanced our understanding of volcanic activities. The detailed accounts of Pliny the Younger, who witnessed the eruption, combined with modern geological studies, have greatly contributed to the field of volcanology, helping us predict and prepare for future eruptions. Moreover, Pompeii underscores the value of historical preservation. It serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of our cultural heritage and the importance of safeguarding it for future generations. The preservation and study of such sites not only bring the past to life, but also provide us with invaluable lessons about our own society, environment, and the impermanence of civilization. Pompeii's tragic end serves as a poignant reminder of nature's power and the resilience of humanity forever.